Welcome back to Metalhead Whiskey Snob. I'm Johnny Fish, Ryan out running around, but I wanted to do a quick little video of the bottles that we brought back from Kentucky. To start off with, I picked up this bottle of Whiskey Row, Bottle and Bond, down there at the Jefferson's Distillery when we first got into town. Found this one at a liquor store. I ain't never seen it here in Denver, so I grabbed it. The proprietor. Oh, what else we got here? Hit up a little Peerless. Got some Peerless Toasted. Found this one in a liquor store. Last time I bought it, it cost me about 150 bucks. This is a 1792 12 year. I paid 55 for that. Another liquor store pickup was the Bourbon Rye, Knob Creek. Swung over into Lux Row. Got this uh, Lux Row double barrel aged 12 year. And nice one. Uh, I think that's all my liquor store picking ones. Try to see here, man. I swung into four roses. Got a single barrel, barrel string. This one is 61.2 percent. So is that 124.4 proof? This one's real good. Got the sample mm -hmm. it. Swung in over to pursuit spirit. Got to do the bottle your own. Also picked up the double oak batch two that they had on the shelf. Can't wait to try that one. It's actually really good. Swung into Old Maker's Mart. Had to grab a bottle of the heart. The Wood Series. Uh, dipped in on good old Woodford Reserve. They said this is their spring Woodford Reserve. Batch proof. 121.2. Have to try that one out. That's the first bottle they sold that day. Just happened to show up right before they put it out. Just on a shit house luck there. Went and sat over at Heaven Hill for three hours. Landed us the old Fitz 10. Can't wait to try that one either. Got two of those because there was two of us in line. Oh, hit up New Riff and picked that up. Eight year one. That's a good one, I hope. We didn't get to try it. We was hoping to, but they busted out their single malt. So we'll be cracking that one soon. This one, I like to call a tater tot. This is a Jim Beam Distiller share bottle. 375. That one's going to be interesting. While I was at Jim Beam, I went ahead and picked up a bottle of that lineage. Also got to taste it. That's good shit. Next on the list, swung over to old Glens Creek. I bought this bottle about two months ago. You know they hold it for you because they don't ship. OCD number five. While I was there, I saw some posts about barrel 143. So, you know, had to pick me up a bottle of OCD number five, barrel 143. That's good shit, too. We got to sample these while we were there. Down there at old Whiskey Thief Distilling, did the old bottle your own. We'll be showing some video of all this stuff. This is good shit, too. Almost got in trouble with that one. We swung over to Jim B. Or, uh, Wild Turkey. Uh, Mr. Russell wasn't there, but when we left on our tour, he showed up. So we got to meet Mr. Jimmy Russell. We didn't find no 15-year, but I got the 90-year. Hand signed by Jimmy Russell himself. This is a Wild Turkey 101 single barrel. There's his signature. Nice man. His wife's great. Got to meet her as well. So when we were at Jim Beam... We got to taste on that Hardens Creek. They said we would never find one because it's long gone. 
Just happened to be at a little liquor store there in Bardstown. Came across this little nice setup. It's the Hardens Creek sample box. Hey, all right. And the last one I got here, it's taken me two years to get this bottle. I tasted it at a bar. They told me where to get it, ran to that distillery. They no longer had it. Apparently there's an argument or something. I don't know what the deal was, but they didn't have it. Tried contacting them a few times, got no response. This time we were there. We tried to see if they had it. They didn't have it. But the nice young lady behind the counter, she dug through her purse and found me a little note. Told me where to get it. So like I said, it took me two years to get it. I finally got it. If you've never had it and you can find it, definitely try it. This is good old door knocker. That's some good shit. Well, that's my little bottle haul.